Hey everyone, I am so super excited for today's video. Like just, it's been a long time since I've been this excited about sharing clothes with you. I love all the things I share, but these seven outfits I feel are really, really special. So today's video is sponsored by Chico's and thank you Chico's. If you've been following me for a while, you know I've been a Chico's ambassador for a good while now and I love the quality of their clothes and their pieces I can depend on. They hold up, they fit well, they make me feel good. But these, these seven outfits are incredible. When I chose the items to put together these outfits, I was specifically thinking about the holiday events and the gatherings that you may have coming up through December, but also I wanted pieces that you can mix and match and wear throughout the fall and winter season year after year. So yes, these seven outfits are designed specifically with certain holiday things in mind from extremely casual to New Year's Eve kind of glam. But I also want you to keep in mind that each of these pieces can be mixed and matched with other things in your closet. And I will walk you through all of that as we go through each outfit. And to start us off, I'm gonna start very cash and we're gonna work our way up to this showstopper, which if you could see the pants, keep watching and you will, you will understand why I'm really, really, really excited about this final outfit. All right, outfit number one, I'm calling Lux Loungewear. Every year, Chico's releases new pieces in their Zenergy line that are cashmere or cashmere blend. And what's fantastic about them is that they're also machine washable and dryer friendly. But there's a little bit of Lux to them because they're cashmere or cashmere blend. And this set is no exception. Now these pieces are sold separately. And if you've been watching me for a while or you follow me over on Instagram, you know that every year I add to my Zenergy cashmere collection. So I've paired them together, this Gray, let's call it a set, even though they're individual pieces. First, let's talk about the hoodie. So it's just a lovely, soft, easy to wear. Just pull it over your head. It does have a hoodie option if you want to wear it. I think that's a great option if you like layering because you can pick, say, a black vest. There's quite a few vests to choose from over on the Chico's website. I'll link a few down in the description box. You could layer that under the hoodie, give it a little more modern look to it. You don't have to wear this with the matching pants. These are a wide leg style. In previous years, I've always gone for their jogger style, so I decided to branch out a little bit and try the wide leg style as well. These don't have pockets, just wanna put that out there, but I love that I can take these very basic but not so basic pieces and wear them with other things. I can wear the top with a pair of jeans, with a black pair of pants. I can flip it around and do the same with the pants. So I like that these are basics, but then not so basic because there's little touches like, yes, the cashmere, and then even the strings for the hoodie. Wearing them one way, they have the sequins all over it, but then you can flip them over and it's much more casual, less luxe, less glam look. So that's your most casual look that I have going for you. Outfit number two, still very casual. I mean, if you look at it at face value, it's a sweater and a pair of jeans. Let's look at this sweater because obviously this is the standout piece. This is the newest part of the haul. The jeans, I'll just touch on very briefly. They're my absolute favorite pair of jeans. You've heard me rave about them all year long. When I first started wearing them early in the spring, the trouser jeans from Chico's, they've expanded the range. So now I believe there are at least four washes fit on the jeans. I would say they run a little bit on the bigger side. So if you're in between sizes, size down one, but I cannot stress enough to just go onto the Chico's website and check their sizing charts because they are extremely helpful. But let's talk about, not the sweater, we will eventually, but the sweater that you're seeing here, how much fun is this? I mean, it's a basic cream sweater, a little bit of a, well, it's, it's not a mock neck, it's an actual turtleneck, but it's a turtleneck that doesn't go too high. It's just a nice little fold over. It's not too restrictive, loose around the neck, but then the arms, obviously. Bit of a statement piece. These are faux fur kind of bands running around the lower part of the arm. I think the placement on this is genius. I actually wore this outfit out to a little casual holiday dinner I had with some girlfriends the other night. And what I like about the faux fur is it's definitely a statement piece, definitely feels like a holiday look, but they didn't put the fur right on the cuffs. And I'll tell you why that is fantastic. I am a messy eater. I knock into things constantly. Between wearing something that's almost white, ivory, and having faux fur, it's for me a recipe for disaster normally. But because the fur is placed a little higher up on the lower part of the arm, they don't get in the way of anything. It's not gonna accidentally hit any food that's on your plate or in front of you. If they're passing hors d'oeuvres, nothing gets in the way. I think it's fantastic. The other thing I wanna point out about this sweater is I was actually freezing at the location. So for the first half, I actually kept a jacket on. And even though there's a you know a bit of a statement going with the, the furriness, they slide right into a jacket. They don't add bulk. You can definitely layer something over this. And when 
when you do, it just looks like a basic cream sweater. And then you take your jacket off and boom, you're having a little more fun than you had planned. For outfit number three, we're still keeping it casual with jeans, but I think that one way to sort of elevate, make it a little more refined is to have a monochromatic look. So as you can see, we're sticking with, whether you wanna call it a crew, English cream, off-white, we have that going on. And I think it also lengthens you. It makes you look a little more lean. It's a very flattering look. So let's start from the top layer and work our way down. So the Ponte Knit Jacquard, is that how you say that word? It's a hard word for me. Topper also comes in black. So if you'd prefer more of a monochromatic black look, you definitely have that option with these pieces. It's a beautiful, almost quilted like fabric. And what I love about this topper is I'm wearing it as an outfit, but it's also a versatile piece in that I could just wear it basically as a jacket on not so cold, cooler fall days. So I'm getting a lot of use out of it. It's really soft as well. I love that it's, it's a little more elevated because of the pattern and the longer length. It's just a little bit different than your typical jacket, but it's still very casual. It's ponte, it's knit. You don't have to feel too stuffy in it. Now I've layered that over what looks like just a basic kind of microfiber top, but when you take the jacket off, you have a whole other statement top going. So I like that you can do a lot with this. So these are chiffon kind of flutter sleeves. And because it's chiffon and the sleeves are basically sheer, you have a lot going on, but you don't have a lot of added extra bulk and ruffles. I've seen a lot of the holiday version tops where it's just tons of ruffles and it's just too girly, it's too much. I like that this is really understated. It still gives you sort of more of like a textured look, less of a lot of embellishments, and it's still very wearable. As you can see, it still layers easily under a jacket. So you have that option. If you wanna like kind of gauge the mood of the party, you take the jacket off and have a little bit of fun, but it's still a really nice layering top as well. And then to keep that monochromatic thing going, I went with one of my favorite pairs of jeans. This is the Chico's girlfriend jeans, but instead of a traditional denim color, I went with an English cream color just to tie everything together. I love the fit of these. Their denim is so soft. I feel like there's a lot, obviously, that I love about Chico's, but their denim is in incredible and it holds up for years. And I just like how soft and worn in it feels straight out of the bag. So I need to point that out. And then an accessory I don't talk about a lot are belts. Belts are sort of the unsung accessory heroes of an outfit. They can tie everything together. They can nip in your waist, make your figure look more flattering. And I love a two for one option. So this one is amazing. First of all, I love just the gold buckle here, nice and understated. And you have, you know, a nice sort of beigey, light tan, taupey, goes with all the neutral things, right? Okay, but say so you wanna jazz it up a little bit. Maybe you're just heading straight to the party. You wanna get to the party. You just spin it. And boom, now, kind of hard to see in this light because it's very shiny. It is a gold shiny belt. So you get two belts for the price of one. Love that, love that idea. And the sizing, I would say is true to size on the belt. Don't forget those accessories. And that was the other overrated section of Chico's that I always want to mention. I was first introduced to the brand when a friend gave me a necklace and a pair of earrings for my birthday in my 30s. And I have been hooked ever since. Let's get on to outfit number four. So I'm calling this outfit not so basic black. And it's a bit of a cliche, but it's obviously very easy to have black pieces in your wardrobe because they go with so many things. They can be mixed and matched and layered and and all that stuff. So it's nice to have some basic black pieces in your closet to pull from. So I feel like the hero piece of this outfit and one of my favorites, I didn't realize how much I was gonna love this till I actually got it in my order. It's this black, they're calling it a black cardigan jacket. It's a heavy knit double breasted blazer really but it feels like a cardigan because it's that knit fabric. It wears more like a boyfriend blazer. I keep saying how comfortable it is. I feel like at this point in my life, if something isn't comfortable, if it's too restricting, if it itches, I don't have time for it. This jacket is just, you just feel like you want to keep it on. It almost feels like a robe. It's that cozy, but obviously it's very polished, has the shoulder pads in there, which, little styling tip, if you are trying to kind of cheat or emphasize more of an hourglass figure, make your waist look smaller, balance maybe out your hips, adding a little more dimension to your shoulders kind of helps that along. So I like 
the shoulder pads. I love this jacket. Obviously I'm wearing it as part of an outfit because it's a bit of a heavier knit where I am in San Antonio, Texas. I could easily wear this as a jacket just to go outside and throw this over just about any outfit that I have in my closet. So I'm loving this. I paired it with same as those, I think they're calling it English cream girlfriend mm. jeans that you saw earlier. Now just in the normal, normal denim color. So as you can see, I, I love these jeans. I have quite a few pairs. I love that they have a little more casual, not quite as tailored look. So I like to roll them up a little bit at the cuffs, especially if I'm wearing taller booties just to give a more casual vibe. But I also wanted you to note the tops because I have two options for you. A lot of you have told me you don't like V-neck options or you do, but it's too cold where you live. So I wanted to share this mock neck, which I really like because it's a looser mock neck. It's, it doesn't feel like it's cutting you off or choking you. And the fabric is from their Touch of Cool line. So it's this really, really lightweight, drapey fabric. So you get the coverage of the turtleneck or the mock neck and it's long sleeve, but you don't get the heaviness and you are not gonna overheat in this. And that is something that happens to me more than it used to. Now, if you prefer a V-neck or where you are is not quite so cold, I did want to share this one and I, it's a little hard to see because black just doesn't show up great on camera, but this satin trim tank has this really nice satin insert along the neckline and then it has this really fine, almost like a mesh or metal trim right under that. And it doesn't go through, it's sewn on on the front. So it's not gonna irritate your skin underneath. It's nice and you know smooth, really soft fabric there. But again, it's a great basic piece. You can wear this in the summer or the spring with you know any kind of bottom you want because it's sleeveless. You can layer this under any kind of blazer or jacket, even throw a denim jacket over it. There's just, it's a basic but not so basic piece that you can have and reach for in your closet over and over, just like that mock neck, just like the knit cardigan blazer. It just goes with all the things. This this next outfit I'm calling a warm twist on New Year's Eve. So back to the idea of when you think New Year's Eve, well, I'll tell you what I think of New Year's Eve. I think sparkles and sequins and black dresses or head to toe black. So this next outfit I'm calling a warm twist for New Year's Eve, but I'm actually planning on wearing this to a friend's birthday party later this month that she's having at a friend's home. So it's casual, but again, you want it a little more elevated, a little more elegant. When I think of getting dressed up, especially for New Year's Eve, I think sequins and silver and gold and black and metallics and things like that. But I want you to consider thinking outside the box. You'll definitely stand out if that's your goal. You don't have to wear black or silver or gold on New Year's Eve. Obviously you can wear whatever you want, but why not something that is warm. And when I say warm, I mean literally and figuratively. So check out this little sweater set. Now it's not technically a set, they're sold in two separate pieces, but the base layer is just basically a very fine gauge knit sweater tank in a beautiful sort of tan camel color. Again, great on its own, layered under different kinds of blazers, jackets, Okay, but we wanna take it up a notch. Maybe you are wearing this to a holiday party, New Year's Eve, a birthday party. This kind of, they're calling it a sequin cardigan, but it, it's, they're iridescent and they make the most subtle little noise when they, you know what, let me go get it. I was trying to describe it, but just check this out. Okay, look at that shimmer. Look at that shine. It's so shimmery and shiny, the camera's probably not able to focus on it, but these are just clear, they're not sequins, there's a word for this. I'm gonna put it on the screen. They're so beautiful, they go all the way around and when they when you move, it's just so tactile. It's audibly pleasing, it's visually pleasing and I can tell you from wearing it, it's actually quite comfortable and it's just a different take on a little bit of shimmer and sparkle that is not what you typically think of when you think of a holiday look and just keeping the rest of it monochromatic, sure you can pair just an average pair of denim jeans or pull any kind of pants that you want with it but a cream colored pair of pants or a tan color pair of jeans like I'm showing here, just kind of elevate it just a little bit more, make it a little more elegant and refined. Absolutely love it. I just think it's such a fun, can you tell? I think it's a really fun outfit. I think it'd really also be fun to pair it with this belt. Either side actually would work just fine. So these last two outfits are definitely more dressed up than the first five. The first five were all pretty casual, whether they were loungewear or some kind of jeans or denim outfit. 
I feel like that makes it a little more casual, a little less dressed up. But these last two outfits, if you need to dress up, I think you're gonna enjoy these. So outfit number six can work in a variety of ways. Let's first look at it as if it is not the holidays and you are in a more corporate or conservative work environment, you need a suit. Skip the basic black, the boring navy. It's not boring, I love navy. Have you considered head to toe ivory? I think it is very refreshing. Think winter white. This works in so many work environments or where you need a suit. And there is a little bit of holiday if you really look for it. The touch of gold in the buttons on the jacket and then the flare pants actually have, as you keep watching the try-on part, you'll see they have gold buttons there. So if you pair them with just a pair of basic neutral pumps, it's very easily just an everyday work outfit. Now, if you're looking closely at my feet, you may notice, hmm, they're the same shoes, but they're two different colors. Same pair of shoes, one is a very neutral toned suede, and the other, same pair of pumps, but there's a, there's a sparkle to the fabric. So I want to show you how you could easily just switch out your shoes and go from work to a holiday party with this outfit. So let's talk more specifically about each piece. So first, let's talk about the blazer. It's a ponte fabric. It say it runs true to size. The buttons on the cuff and the pockets are both functional, which is really nice. I love that it is a hook and eye closure because when you first look at this, you're thinking, oh, this is double breasted. It's going to be such a pain. No, it just is a very easy to fasten hook and eye closure in the middle. And it feels a little almost like a boyfriend style. There's, it fits perfectly. I mean, the shoulders line up on me and everything. I prefer to wear the sleeves kind of pushed up a little bit. I love a blazer all by itself. So, you know, you don't have to wear it with the matching pants or have a matching tank under. You can do a lot with this. I think this is a versatile piece that will go with all the things in your closet because it's a very neutral color. Now underneath, I'm wearing one of Chico's famous microfiber tanks. I say famous because if you need the ultimate layering piece under all the things in all the colors, this microfiber tank is fantastic. It lays beautifully, it drapes beautifully, it goes under all the things. Every season they release more and more colors. They always have kind of the basic neutrals, but they'll have different colors depending on the season. Definitely recommend runs true to size as well. And then we need to talk about these pants. Oh my goodness, they are stunning. These Ponte button flare pants. I don't know if I'm, is it Ponte or Ponte? Regardless, they have gold buttons. It's a pull on style. There's no buttons or zips or snaps. It's just whoop, right on. So they're super comfortable. No actual pockets. It lays totally flat all the way around. I think these are so fun. Those little gold buttons, just adorable. And it does make it to, takes it to another level, I'd say, with those gold buttons. Runs true to size there as well. A little bit long. I definitely recommend wearing heels with this one. I'm five foot four. I think those heels are three inches. And just like all the other pieces that I've shared with you today, you don't have to wear it with the matching blazer. You could wear you know, any kind of neutral color top really paired with those pants. It's gonna work. And as you may have noticed, the two different color shoes, again, just reminding you, you can dress it up just by swapping out the shoe or dress it down by swapping out the shoe. This last outfit is a showstopper. Obviously, I'm a little too excited maybe to talk about this, so bear with me if I babble a moment. First of all, you may not be aware, but Chico's has an extra special line called their Black Label Collection. And these are pieces that are luxury fabrics. You're gonna see things like cashmere, silks, et cetera. They have a different sizing range. So unlike the Chico's regular sizing that you're all familiar with, these go more standard, like the pants are zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, you know, that kind of thing. This shirt is a small, like just a standard small, that kind of thing just absolute exquisite pieces. And I've never ordered from there before, so I'm really excited. And now that I have, I may have created a monster. I'm really enjoying these pieces. So I love each of these pieces separately, but let's talk about them together first. So first we have this cashmere sweater that's very much not a basic cashmere sweater. Yes, I mean, everything from here down, you know, it's beautiful. I love this cool tone, neutral color. I love the extra long ribbed cuffs. Obviously the collar is interesting. It's a mock neck, silver sequins that go all the way around. So coming or going, you've got a full necklace on, so to speak. If you put your hair up, it'll look especially pretty. I would say it runs true to size. This works great paired with the pants we're gonna talk about, but if you wanna tone it down a little bit, some black jeans, black pants, regular denim. You can get a lot of wear out of this year after year after year. But if you wanna take it up a level, <laughs> pair it with these wide leg sequin pants. These are silver sequins. This is such a stunning combination. I prefer it with a little bit of a front tuck, just kind of breaks up the line and gives a little definition to the waist. 
These pants run really, really big. Don't do what I did. Please check the size chart before you order. I was so excited to get my order in that I just kind of guessed, I guessed wrong. So I feel like these run big. Definitely check the size chart. They don't have pockets. They are straight, kind of wide leg silhouette. What's fantastic about this is that they are fully lined. So even though you are covered in sequins from the waist down, you feel like you're wearing satin or silk pants because I can't feel them at all. I'm wearing them as I'm sitting here. They shimmer, they move, they're beautiful. I think this outfit will look fantastic if you're invited to a New Year's Eve party at someone's home and you don't wanna get too dressed up or you're going to a nicer restaurant for dinner that evening. I'm gonna wear this to an event that I have to go to in Austin for a dinner that it's a little bit dressy. I'm like, this is gonna be absolutely perfect. Now these sequin pants are definitely a statement, but don't feel like you can only pull them out in December for holidays. Maybe you're going to Las Vegas for something in the summertime. This would be a great pair of pants to have. You can wear sequin year round, not just for New Year's. So any kind of party that you have coming up that you wanna have some fun with, maybe you're going out dancing, pull these guys out. So these are both very much investment pieces. The Black Label Collection are definitely more investment pieces, but they're also classically made and you're gonna get wear out of them year after year after year. So those were seven incredible outfits that as you can see, I am very excited to talk about all of them from Chico's. Thank you so much to Chico's for offering to sponsor this video, for exploring YouTube with me. I love talking about them here. You should also follow me over on Instagram where I'm sharing all these outfits and more. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Everything is linked down in the description box and pinned to the top of the comments so you can easily find all the info there as well. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope that you had fun and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.